Hi everyone, I'm Vixie and welcome back to my channel. So uh, back into playing World of Warcraft on my Death Knight. Uh, let's see what we have here. She has the Death. Gr oh. oh, yes, Death Grip. I see touch, Plague Strike, Blood Strike, Death Coil. Uh, I used to have a 2v2 arena called Live and Let Death Coil. Now I forget, if I jump there, no, it's not a giant hole that I'll die in. <laughs> oh yes, the old forge, to forge my runes on my blades. Uh, I really am so excited about this, you have no idea. Okay, <laughs> talk to the guy. Ignore a whole heap of stuff about story stuff. Time has come. Create your first rune blade. Oh yes, okay. So search for weapon racks. Get thy rune blades. Glittery glowy things. Battle on sword. Go to the forge -y thing. Mm, let's see. What's this? Oh. Wait, that's the blood presence. Stop. Blood strike. Here we are. Think. Okay, got it. Sup, dude. Rune blade. Yes. Complete. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Engrave the rune of your choosing. Freely replace the engraved weapon. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, that equips the thing. Well, it's equipped. Hood. We're in forging. Here we go. Now, which one was better? Fix your weapon has a chance to increase the damage for your next two attacks. Deal frost shadow damage. Modifying your rune weapon. Yep. So your weapon to cause 2% extra weapon damage as frost. Vulnerability of frost attacks. Modifying your rune weapon. I am going blood, so I'm going for the whole cinder stuff. Let's pop that right on there. Yeah, I, I already know I'm going to go blood because I love being able to heal myself mostly. And the fact that with blood, because... Stuff like this where it's like, it actually drains life and gives you life for more damage that you do. So what you do is you stack a crap ton of damage and you stab something and you get healed. <laughs> I'm saying stab because I have a, currently have a sword, but what I like to do is I also like to get like the biggest axe I can possibly find because I find it so comical being a tiny little blood elf and it having a giant axe. <laughs> running around like a little literal axe murderer. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Quest log Endless Hunger. Shrug. Commanded you to free the unworthy initiate and kill them in cold blood. Wow. Wow. So immediately murder. Right, got it. That's kind of harsh. So clicky clicky here. Just, is this? I'm gonna attack. Can't attack them. But we're supposed to attack them. Oh, I gotta wait for them to get ready. Blah blah blah. Yes, yes, yes. Death grip! Oh, I love that ability. Render, render. Blood strike. 
death coil. Done. Hmm. Don't like that dot. Oh, I'll close the bag so that you guys can see that stuff. Okay. Uh, ready. Am I ready? Yes. Report to Lich King. Okay. Report to Lich King. Where was he? I don't really remember. I don't have any gold on this character, do I? No. Hmm. I wonder if my other characters can send me monies. If so, I'm fairly sure my resto droid can totally twink this character. Because, like I said, she got epicked out and she was raking in money in the GDK piece, so. Yeah. Which, I reckon, because everybody else will want to be a Death Knight. I'm probably going to easily coast through getting groups because of the healer. Analyze the Scarlet Hold, use the Avalon Forge at Town Hall, Chapel of Rome. Oh, anyway. So, this guy's the Lich King. Hello! He's really keeping his eyes on me. Look at this. I just run around him. So he's the big bad, and as a death knight, he's your buddy. Ah, he keeps stabbing me with his sword. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'll do it. Accept the quest. And he's doing the, don't look at me, I'm doing something. And then I have to go find a whole bunch of things. So Avalon Forge, Analyze, New Avalon Town Hall. Okay. I don't remember any of this. Uh, oh, glittery thing means quest item. So if I click on this, it should carry me to where I need to be. I'm some kind of orb. Launches to its destination. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking around rather erratically. I'm an orby orb, and I orb orb orb, and I orb orb orb. Oh, it's in my control. That's not good. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> uh, I guess this looks like a churchy thing. Oh, red thing. That. Mm. The arrow implies that this is the thing, right? No? I honestly don't remember. Let's see what the spam is looking for. Rip runs. Oh yeah, ye old rap gun grinds. Good old ramps. Excited to do that stuff. Ring of blood. <laughs> See, usually it will specify you got a tank, right? But these days, people are just going to be like looking for um, things. Because they know it's just basically going to be death night o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, so red arrow thing. Am I supposed to press something or summon ghoul? Shroud. Shroud from sight. Oh, here we go. I am unseen. Okay. And then we go here. And then we re no, we don't want to return. Summon my siphon. Oh, here we go. That's what we want to do. Um. Oh, so you siphon things to analyze them. Okay. And you fly off. 
you shroud, no one can see me, and then siphon. Be all spacebar to fly away. Um, hmm. Okay, what else am I supposed to analyze this? Analyze this? Analyze this? Still die, and now I die. Do, 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 do. Um, ah, there we are. Another red arrow. Can't see me. So that's the chapel, and I need to find the forge. See you, suckers. The forge. If I was a forge, where would I be forging? Right at the front there. That looks like a forge. Yes, I see a little red arrow. Good, good, good stuff, good stuff. Sneaky, sneaky, siphon, siphon. Yes. Huh, there's a big orby thing in the sky. Let's go home. Alrighty. Pink. Well done. I get to move faster. <gasps> I get the necklace. I remember this necklace being like, I kept it for ages because that hit rating, that hit rating right there is overpowered. So, that's super exciting. Uh, carrying orders to High Lord Margrave. Evan Hall used the glowing transporter behind the Lich King to reach the Highborn Durham on the command. Okay, use the Orby thing. Light the Scourge. Uh, that indicates an arrow that goes down. I can't talk to him to teleport down yet. But I also don't see sparkles. Behind the Lich King, use the thing behind the Lich King. This dude's a Lich King, where's the thing that's behind him? Well, as soon as I find this transporter thing, which hopefully won't be too long, I will wrap up this episode. We're looking for something that looks like an orb. We're looking for the Lich King's knob. Nubbiness, where is it? I'm feeling sure you get teleported somewhere, and then the instructor. Wow, I have forgotten more about World of Warcraft than most people have ever known. So repair guy? I'm not looking for a repair guy. We're looking for some sort of yeah. See you teleport. Oh, this teleportation pad. I think is this it? Yes, haha, -ha. okay. I knew, I, I, look, I knew, I knew it was here, it was just downstairs, that, that place was upstairs. And that is one of the big lessons in World of Warcraft, if you don't know, if you're like, I'm standing on the objective, I can't see where it is, it's probably above you or below you. And so you look for, there's, there should be a tiny indicator that like points up or down. Okay, so report to Scourge Commander, balcony, first floor, in Ebon Hold. Okay. So, let's go there. Uh, we've got a few more minutes. Let's do that. We'll go talk to this other exclamation mark over here. Lord Thorval. Dual talents. 
I can do that. It's a thousand gold. That's a lot of gold. That's gonna take me a while to get. Okay. Evan Hold. Hmm. How do we get to Evan Hold? This question. Can't wait to unlock the part where we can fly there. <laughs> Maybe that's here? Yes. I think I'm on the right track. Yes. This guy. This guy. These, uh, bony flying things. What do you guys think of that? Yeah? Um, there were some people that were just like, it looks like, you know, when you have a roast chicken <laughs> and you've eaten all the chicken, it's like the bones that are left. So some people kind of didn't really like it. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked the blue glowiness. The blue glowiness I quite liked. Um, my finest griffin. Report the rent file and death's breach, except... Hop on a griffin. Hop on a griffin. World of Warcraft is a feeling. Here we are. Mm -hmm. well, I have a hearth, right? I do. Uh, oh, I'll bring me back up there. Let's put on our necklace. Somewhat better than the one that I was previously wearing. Choker of damnation. Kinky. Okay. Prince Valena. Uh, sniffs the air, fresh meat. Ooh, scent of scarlet commander wafts through the air. Apologies, stuff. Okay. Bloodshed. Tasty. Complete quest. Slay ten Scarlet Commanders, peasants, and citizens. Slay people, right. Okay. Strength, stamina. Cruise, crit strike rating. Ooh, that is a nice ring. I do like that uh, with the Death Knights, they did, they did give us a lot of cool stuff early on. Which, I mean, I guess is only fair because all the other characters you could have leveled up in classic and like have completely epic out like my resto druid which was like this in every slot okay let's see 49 armor okay they've all got armor north wind blood unholy strength stamina strength stamina Oh, it's about the amount of resistances. In this case, we pick on the grounds of fashion. Shatter. Hmm. Uh, frost, frost resistance is handy sometimes, but I like shatter. Let's go shatter. So, Scarlet Crusader, Citizens, was successfully stolen, and Arrows, and this person over here. Okay, well, we've picked up all these quests, and next episode we will do them. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and please click like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, I will try to figure out how to do a direct screen capture so you're not staring at my laptop here, which uh, 
I'm not actually affiliated or sponsored by Alienware yet. I will be talking to them though because I clearly really love their uh, products. Okay, so have a great day. Thanks for viewing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!